Tom Childer writes, Hello, Collider crew. I'm a huge fan of all kinds of music, but I especially like rap. I was wondering if you think there could be a BC Boys biopic. With the success of Straight Outta Compton, I think seeing the lives of one of the most influential rap groups would be very interesting, especially with the passing of MCA. Anyways, thank you. I remember, some of you know this, some of you will find this astonishing. I was a professional break dancer uh, around the age of like... I want video of I know, you I, know too. I actually you too. got paid for break dancing. And so back in the day, I was listening to a lot of Houdini. I was listening to a lot of Beastie Boys. I was listening to a lot of Run DMC at the time. And so I remember too, because I was into that kind of music, right? But it was not mainstream yet, like at all. And I remember the Beastie Boys were kind of like the first guys because before the Arsenio Hall show was the Arsenio Hall show, it was the Joan Rivers show. Right. And Joan Rivers had the Beastie Boys when their uh, album License to Ill came out. And Joan Rivers didn't even know how to, she, she couldn't even pronounce it. Wait, it's License to Ill, Kill? Is this supposed <laughs> to be Kill? Ill. Okay, License to Ill, the Beastie Boys. Uh -huh. And they performed, and I remember as a kid, I was like, oh my God, like the stuff that we're listening to is in the mainstream. At the, we, I'd never seen anything like that before. They have a huge musical influence on a lot of people. And when you look at their lives, they're not just, some people want biopics on certain musicians just because they like their music. When you actually look at the life stories of the Beastie Boys and a couple of the members in particular, MCA, there's tragedy, there is like big life mistakes, and there's a story to tell, basically. So personally, I'd be all for it. What about you? Yeah, if this movie has anything close to the entertainment value of the Sabotage video, then I am so into <laughs> this movie. I was I never grew up a huge Beastie Boys fan. I got into them later in life, but their history is tremendous and definitely deserves a cinematic treatment. They were the they played on the last night at Max's Kansas City, the legendary New York club venue um and like that when they left def jam and went to capital there's a lot of things that you could tell um, it's it's going to be interesting to see what they focus on because straight out of compton did a phenomenal job of focusing both on the personal lives of the members involved and showing their musical career i don't know if you can do it that easily with the beastie boys movie but i want to give it a shot christian i absolutely want to see a beastie boys movie for i mean even in the reference said what was really cool about Straight Outta Compton when you were watching as well too was, was the way that they incorporated the music into what it meant for the yeah. band and everything too. And I would love to see that with the Beastie Boys. I was a big Beastie Boys fan, and their story is something that should be told. And and everything that they did is as not, not. I mean, just politically and stuff that they did as well too, not just with the music. So it's it's a it's a movie that I hope happens, and I think you know that like we've talked about many times on this show. What studios do, and you had said yesterday more that it's a it's it's an a moral choice. It's like whatever they're whatever they're going at, whatever's making money for them. Straight Outta Compton did pretty well. We may yep. hear about a, a, a Best uh, Supporting Actor nomination, maybe, maybe not. Um, that should lead to more of these, and I hope that the Beastie Boys are one of them in the, in the fray. But here's the big question. Like, like, when you're a pro in karate, you get a black belt. When you're a pro in golf, you get a PGA Tour card. When you're a <laughs> pro in breakdancing, what do you get? <laughs> yeah, like, what's right. the... How do, you, how do you chicks. earn your card? I got a head-to-toe Adidas windbreaker outfit, and I actually got paid to right. go dance at so some So you gigs. could do all, like, you could spin on your head and stuff? I Yes, I did. The wow. head spin was something I used to, and I used to spin. No video of this. And I used to spin other people on my head. That was, that was, yeah, I, was I was this size when I was, like, 14. So, yeah, I was say, <laughs> so if, I, if, if, if I pay you, would you let Schnepp spin on your head? Uh, I, I, I would certainly not want to try. Oh, Fun. dude, uh, Christmas, Christmas yeah. party here is next weekend. Right. We have a Christmas party here, We'll get a couple shots of Jack in him, and then we'll do some break dance. Yes. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.